This is Mile High. Do I want to tell the story or do I want to show the message? You've got a lot of work to do between Mile High. The time has come where we can know. We have a responsibility, an ethical and moral responsibility. We have to do it better in order to move people along. Up, down, inside out. If you get your mind right, it is not. It is a receiver of thought. Because love is my first technique. It's now time for the show. Welcome to the Mile High Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Daniel Knowles. Thank you for joining us for this episode and all the episodes. And we encourage you to never miss, always tune in to Mile High Tick. However you're watching this, whether it is on YouTube or it's through Apple iTunes or Facebook, make sure to hit subscribe so you are always tuned in to Mile High Tech. Today, we are catching up with a dear friend who is extremely helpful to our practice with getting online reviews and with authority positioning can help you too. Mike Saunders holds an MBA in marketing and serves a small and medium-sized business market. In addition, in addition to coaching and consulting, his firm, Marketing Huddle, uh, teaches marketing strategy. He is a brand optimization expert. He's going to help you with authority positioning and referrals and online reviews. Um, his systems are incredible, and I'm really grateful for having him here with us on this podcast. You're going to want to take uh, notes as well as implement what he's talking about so you can have more people on more tables more often. Thank you for being here with us today, Mike. Uh, welcome. Thank you, Danny. Thanks for having me. I appreciate uh, you having me on the show. Well, we're grateful to have you here. You have had such an incredible positive impact um, in our office, in our practice, and on many lives that we're grateful to have you share this information and your wisdom with our audience. First of all, let's help them get to know you a little bit better. Can you share your background in marketing? Yeah, yeah so uh, about, about 10 years ago, I started my firm because I uh, was in my MBA program, and uh, my MBA is in marketing. And one of the courses was, you know, business plans. And it said, why don't you start a business, you know, work uh, 10 business for this assignment. So I started thinking, what business would I want to start? And I thought of a marketing consulting firm. So I built out a business plan, built out a marketing plan. And then, as you can imagine, it led to starting this business, which was 10 years ago. And of course, then have all the ups and downs of being a self-employed business owner. But I discovered that I was making mistakes that a lot of business owners make in any um, field or industry. I was the jack of all trades, but I was the master of none. You know, I was, um, oh, you need this marketing thing? I'll do it. And then I'd and research and figure out how to do it, it right? So, so it's like, like, if I saw an opportunity, I was going to take it. But about, about five, five years ago, ago, I restructured my entire firm to focus on one aspect, aspect of marketing, which is authority, authority positioning. positioning. And, and being, being able, able to take, take your, your marketing, marketing approach from the perspective of being a uh, authority and an and expert, expert is the way to be seen as the obvious choice to your market. Now, you might think you have two initials after your name. And, and it's like, like, oh, well, I'm an expert, and you are. are. But the problem is, there's, there's a, a competitor or two down, down the street, across the hall many times, and, and you've got, got to stand, stand out. out. And, and that's, that's where this authority positioning, this marketing, marketing strategy comes in. And, and what, what I teach is how to do just very, very, very few specific, specific things because when you have authority position built, then any other marketing that you do works better. So I don't say, here's my litany of you know 38 um, uh, marketing services I can do. Which one do you want? I say, let's make you look like an authority and an expert, but it plays out in all of your other things. Because let's think about it. Um, have, you have you ever been, been on, on Facebook, Facebook, which I, I, I when I, I use, use this example, example, I think that you'll uh, kind of kind smile, smile and nod. Um, I was I doing a presentation earlier this week, week and I was making this point. So I went through Facebook to find validation for this, this idea, which is, have you ever seen someone that says, grow your business to seven figures, scale to seven figures. I've got the solution. And the person making this offer for the training course looks like they're 12, you know, and it's like, 
I don't trust you. I'm not going to give you a dime, much less your whatever you're going to charge. So you have to be seen as that authority. And so what what I was do what was interesting is um, you have to have that subconscious and that intrinsic um, trust with someone to say, okay, we've got to talk. So, so when, when you're, you're seeing, seeing, you know, right, right off, off the bat from, from your content and from, from your perception your as that expert, expert now, now the things that you're talking about just fall into place. So, so that's, that's my approach to marketing. marketing. Today, Today we're going to talk about one of the pieces, pieces which is um, third-party third social proof. proof. And that's, and that's the, the fancy word for online reviews. Excellent. Excellent. And I will say online reviews are a vital part of any small business, especially a chiropractic practice. People look at the online reviews before they go to your office or call your office, even if they are a referral. And I know I do with every other business um, service and product I consume, even if somebody, you know, Mary Jo tells me this is the best dentist in town, the first thing I do is look at the reviews. I don't think that's just me. I think everyone else or a very large percentage are doing that as well. And that's why we par partnered with you to do local Cairo rep, L-O-C-A-L-C-H-I-R-O rep, R-E-P.com, local rep, local Cairo rep.com. And people should check it out and we'll talk about that more. Um, however, uh, you talk about being a brand optimization expert. What does that mean? Well, your brand, a lot of people feel like your brand is your logo, so let's get a graphic designer, and here's our beautiful logo. That's, that's nice, um, but it's not what we're talking about. Your brand is all of the perceptions that your target audience has about you, and it could come from so many different things. Yes, your logo is one aspect of it. Another aspect is your website. I mean, if you look like you've got a Craigslist website, that's not going to do anybody any good. They're not going to really jump on board, and, and, and you know, I know that you've got some referrals that you can help people with um, websites, but I think that brand optimization comes from the initial perception, but then it ties into something really, really big, which is... You, you, we, we must, must be, be an educator and advocate for the success of our target audience. audience. Well, well, in this, in this case, case, for you guys, it is for your prospective patients. patients. They, they need, need to understand, understand that you're not just going discount, discount coupon, coupon, limited time, time call now. now. That's, That's not what they want. want. And, and yes, yes, in some, some cases, cases they're, they're in pain, pain they need help. help. But in many cases, you're taking this holistic 360 degree approach. You need, you need to be teaching, teaching them. them. Well, here's well, the pros and cons of, here's a misconception. Here's what people need to realize. And when they can make a decision on their own, now you're drawn to you. Because people like to buy, but they don't like to be sold. So the brand optimization, when you're doing these kinds of things, when you're uh, being the expert, um, not by saying you're the expert, but by teaching and advocating, because in that example of the Facebook ad, you know, the 12 year old, you know, haha, the 20, uh, the little guy that appears to be 12. If he had said, or she had said, oh, I can help you scale your business because I'm an expert. Just saying that they're an expert still doesn't cut it. You know, I don't, I've never heard of you. Where's your pedigree? So, so being, being able, able to, to back it up, up with some great, great testimonials, testimonials, reviews, content, content teaching, and, and then, then when, when you're saying, here's my recommendation, recommendation now it all comes together. So, so the, the brand, brand is a culmination, culmination of all of that. Yes, vital, important uh, to realize. And a lot of people just go out with the brand of chiropractic and realize chiropractic just as its own brand is like saying, I'm the brand of medicine. It doesn't, it doesn't really have any specialization and chiropractic is exact um, currently, sadly, and I wish it wasn't this case, but you know, you, you have to call things what they are. The, the brand as itself isn't very clear brand. People don't necessarily have a clear picture of what chiropractic is. And that's also not the, uh, doesn't have the best brand image. So for you to optimize your image as an individual office is vital. So you stand out. Not that you're better than other chiropractors, but stand out in your uniqueness is vital. Well, you know the solution to that? that? Right. It's, it, years and years, years ago, ago, I went to this seminar, and it just sticks in my mind. It was called The Brand of You. 
Yeah. And it was actually Absolutely. in yeah. financial services and they were like, Hey, you can sell insurance and sell financial products or whatever you're selling. And you could work for whatever shingle you're hanging your name under, you know, whoever, but ultimately you're building your client base that's following you. So you can go wherever. So um, Dr. Daniel Knowles, it doesn't matter whether he's a chiropractor or works at whatever office, guess what? Network family wellness. That's wonderful. But you know what? It's Danny. That's who they want to know. And so it's the personal branding and here's Here's a, a little writer downer. Danny, I know you do a lot of book reading. Have you read the book, The um, Building a Story Brand by yeah. Donald Miller? Yep. So highly recommend if anyone has not read that, get it, go to Amazon and buy it. It's wonderful. Uh, but one of the big things that applies to this point we're making here is he says the mistake people make is being the hero of the story. And you think, I'm a chiropractor, I need to be that expert authority. That's true, but you are not the hero. Guess who the hero is? The patient. You are the guide. You're guiding them to understand, to make their own decisions. And they see you as that expert because you're the guy kind of on the side or in the background kind of being the expert guide. The patient needs to be that hero. You know, they're the one that's going to get the outcome of. And so I think that's a really big point you were making about, um, I'm calling it, and I know you agree, personal branding. You need to build your brand story. Mm -hmm. Now, you talk about authority positioning. Can you share what that means? Yeah, um, it's, it's the actual aspect of building specific assets that shine a light on you as the expert. So I've, uh, it's really, uh, uh, it really came to me because I spent 10 years in the mortgage banking industry working with financial advisors and they will say, hey, look at this financial portfolio. You've got stocks, bonds, mutual funds. So a portfolio or a um, you know fashion designer's portfolio, look at the dresses I make or a website, web designer's portfolio, look at the um, web designs I can do. An authority positioning portfolio is a culmination of assets that show that you're the expert. So authority position is positioning you as a verb. You need to be positioning yourself constantly because building your authority is your number one priority is what I say. When you build an asset, that's long-term. So, so I always often ask, ask this question, hey Danny, um, how long does a Facebook ad campaign work for you? And if you do with Facebook ad campaigns, you know, you're already smiling. Well, it works as long as you keep paying Facebook. Right, you feed the machine, it'll work. The minute you stop paying it, those ads go away. Oh, but that's fine. Um, it, I, the the four months that I ran it, all those ads are still there. Nope, it goes away, it evaporates. So an asset is a long term, uh, uh, um, you know, thing. It's literally tangible, and the reason that it's tangible is because you're strategically structuring them to shine the spotlight on you and be found online. Now we're talking today in a minute, I'm gonna show you this great uh, platform and I've got a little uh, behind the scenes look at uh, what this will look like. But think of something when you mentioned, hey, when someone refers a dentist, what, what am I gonna do? Blindly go show up and say, sign me up? Nope, you're gonna research them online, look for reviews, but what else do you look for? You look for any sort of uh, proof of their validity of what they can do. And one thing that you need to look at is what, you know, it's like a Google resume. You know, you're never gonna email a chiropractor or a dentist and say, send me your resume. But what does Google say about you? So yes, if they see negative reviews, we need to not have that. We need to have an overwhelming amount of good reviews. But with the three positioning, how are you positioned in the mind of your target audience on Google? And if, and if people, people can, can Google, Google your name and see, and see oh, yeah, their, their website, their link, of course, all those obvious things. things. We, they, they, people, people know that those, those are sales mechanisms, platforms. platforms. But what if they, they see Dr. Daniel Nobles interviewed on, on, featured in this media, media, and it's like, oh, I'm going to check that out. Well, well if, if you've got some of those breadcrumb trails out there, then they can engage with you and hear you and see you if it's visual or if it's audio in a podcast. They can understand what you're about even before reaching out. So that, so that um, serves, serves to pre-frame your expertise. So authority, so authority positioning, positioning is the, is the act, act of building, building constantly assets, assets that prop your brand, brand up, your personal brand, brand up, so that, so that when, when people engage with you, they feel comfortable to at least give you, you the, the chance, chance to say, to say what, what you can do to help them out. Yes, absolutely. And I have to say, one of the things that um, I have as a rule, and people that are in my groups and circles have heard me say this over and over again, that your standard is that you have as a goal 
to have double the online reviews of your business of anybody in your market area. Now, I will say myself, we have more than anybody. We don't have double because there is some staunch competition in our area. But I still have that as the bar as I goal, have a goal double. And this month, we had another five or six added in August um, through your systems, right? So we're always like we have to get one or two every single week. Um, so our goal is have double anybody else in your market um, and the, the, at, at the low end have more than anybody else because people are going to go to, if they're going to choose an Italian restaurant, they're going to go to the one with the most reviews. It has to be on target, but people will say, well, I'll do the easy work of put $1,000 on Facebook ads or whatever it might be. And I'm not saying not to do that. However, even though the person looks at your Facebook ad or your Google AdWords ad, or they get you get ten, you know, ten people tell you them to go to see you because their friends all happen to see you, and you get, they get ten times they hear, oh, go to Network Family Wellness Center. They're still going to look online first, you know. Yep. <laughs> and if there's someone else in your market that has double the reviews that you do, they're going to choose that person over what their friend says. So that authority positioning is important. And you talk about that impacting reputation, reach, resell, and referrals. Yeah. Well, well, what you just said is important because double, triple, quadruple, it really can't be just one more. You can't have your, and I know you don't mean this, but you can't be, see your next competitor and they've got 57 reviews and you have 58. And the minute they get 58, you need to get that 59. You can't have that because then they're like, man, it's a toss up. It needs to be that you are the obvious choice. So how authority positioning affects reach, resell, referrals. Well, guess what? If people don't view you as that expert and you don't have that Google resume, and one of the things I mentioned is being seen online, reviews is one way to be seen online. If you don't see that, you never get the at-bat to get that, that patient. Well, then if you don't have an authoritative presence and, and a command of your craft, you, know, you should write that one down because that just came to me, the alliteration of command of your craft, right? But if, if you're in there kind of wishy-washy and the patient's first um, interaction with you is like, meh, maybe they're not going to come back. So now here comes the resale aspect. So if you're an authority, you trust what you're doing for people. It comes through in your care if you're patient. And then now here comes the resale or the recurring with the packages and then referrals. If people go away and, you know, I always, I always ask the question, hey, how many um, what's happy customers? And they're like, oh, yeah, me. No. You don't want happy customers. You want lady fans. Because if someone's happy or satisfied, that's like meh. That's like, you know, that's fine. You want raving fans, which then leads to referrals. I'll, I'll say one thing before we get into, you know, how this actually applies and what it looks like, which is this. Um, when someone Googles your name, because when a, a chiropractor is referred, they're going to go, oh, you need to talk to my guy so-and-so, or hey, talk to Daniel Knowles. Um, they Google the name, they'll, they'll Google the name of the practice too, but they're going to Google that person because that's the one I'm going to be talking to who's going to touch me. I want to Google them, right? Well, well, I remember, I, remember, I, I did this last night, so, so uh, um, I, I can confidently say when I Google Dr. Dr. Daniel Knowles, there's, there's a lot of good things on page one of Google, Google but you know what else is on there? A podcast interview you and I did on my show on the Business Innovators Radio Network from like two plus years ago and a press release that I did featuring you on page one of Google from two plus years ago. Why is that significant? Because it's an asset. And it's, and it's got, got long-term long -term reach. reach. And it's a breadcrumb trail that, that maybe no one, one would ever think, hey, hey Dr. Knowles, I came in and saw you, mainly, mainly because, because I saw, they're, they're not going to say that, but it's a, a factor in their decision-making. Decision -making. So, so they see those kind of things. things. They see reviews, reviews and, they're and they're like, ooh, wow, 197 reviews or whatever your number is up to now. So the A plus B equals C, and that's what you need to have working for you. It's never a box that you check off. Hey, I've got this many reviews. Good. Hey, I did a podcast interview. Hey, I was me mentioned in the media one time. It's never a one-off. It is a constant and never-ending improvement like our friend Tony Robbins teaches with Kamat. Right. And then they come in already seeing you as an expert rather than questioning your credentials. Not that people necessarily say like where your degree is from, but questioning your authority. Right. So tell us a little bit more about how uh, this system works. Yeah, so I uh, put together some actual examples, so I'll do a quick screen share and show you this. 
because I think this is really, really powerful to be able to see it. So we laid a great foundation to be able to say why it's important. Um, but this is really a success tool to help you in transforming the lives of your practice and expanding the professional influence in your community. Huge. Um, so this is, now we, we touched on this, but I want to make another point because I didn't say this when you were bringing this up a second ago. How much do reviews mean? We covered that. 92% of prospects now consult testimonies before making any kind of decision. Um, and five-star reviews will not only satisfy your prospective patients, but the search engines as well. I want to touch on the last two points really briefly. Um, do you realize, Danny, when you said, oh, well, when I was referred to a dentist or let's say a restaurant, what would happen if you saw negative reviews? You're not going to be beating the path to their door, right? Right. Exactly. Did you know those people personally that posted those negative reviews? No, I mean, no, no. maybe not. Right. And, and all, all the positive, positive reviews. reviews. You, you saw, saw this particular uh, provider is dramatic, is the obvious choice. And you, and you just, just saw all these positive reviews. reviews. You don't know those people personally right. either. Exactly. That's a big point. Because yes, a major percentage, a much higher percentage of a referral when you say, hey, word of mouth, um, you need to go see my car mechanic. Well, if I need a car mechanic, I'm just going to go. I might check them out too, but I'm going to give a really high level of trust to that because I know that person. But when we're talking about online reviews, it doesn't matter if you know people or not. So when, when we're building reviews for your practice, you need to realize that the next set of eyes looking at these reviews, you don't need to have that personal relationship. Reviews are so powerful. And then the other thing is satisfying the search engines. Um, you can touch on this too, but I will say as a general rule that yes, when you see the Google reviews and the big number, that's the first box you need to check and keep checking. The other aspect is the um, Google Maps, the three pack at the top. When people look for, you know, Boulder chiropractor, the more, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but having Google reviews is a factor to get you seen in that. Have you noticed that in your practice as well? Yep, absolutely. absolutely. So we don't... This is not a session on SEO because I don't do SEO, but I'm just saying that this is a, a factor and it's a, it's a thing right, to look for. It's a big factor. A hundred percent. So let me show you this. This is an automated platform. So huge word automated because if I teach you how to make 100 cold calls a day to get more patients in your practice, and if you did it five days a week, four weeks a month, do you know how many patients you get? Probably a lot, but who's going to make five calls, much less, you know what I'm saying? So you've got to have something that is done for you, automated and easy to do. So automated and 20 minutes a month. And I will tell you that 20 minutes is an exaggeration. This does not take 20 minutes a month, but I, if I said two minutes a month, then people go, no way. But in reality, it's probably 10. But it's really, 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 really a quick, easy, easy way, way to use this. this. So, so we've touched on many of these um, Google search rankings. And, and, and the thing that I want to mention, mention is, is number three, three here. here. Smart, Smart review filtering. filtering. I'm going to show this to you in a second. But uh, what but this means is, if you, you notice, notice there, there your, your custom branded, branded feedback page will filter out bad reviews and not encourage them to continue online. So here's what I mean by that. One of my, when my kids were growing up, they had this pediatric dentist right down the road here in Arvada. And, and I, I remember going into their office, office one day, dropping the kids off for their appointment, and I saw this flyer, you know, hey, we would love, we would love your, your review. review. And I'm like, ooh, let me check that out. And, and they, they had, had their, their direct, direct link to Google, Google Yelp, and we, we want to hear your feedback. feedback. That, is that is very, very, very dangerous. dangerous. And here's, and here's why. why. Anyone, Anyone at any time could not like something you do or not do or say or not say or the cologne you wear or the way you part your hair. Right? Right. So you pointing people right to your online review site, who knows what that's going to bring up, say. I mean, all of a sudden now it's too late. So this smart review filtering, I'm going to show you what this looks like, but when someone can go to this custom branded page and see your team and ask for your feedback and it's five stars or one or two or three or four, and on the right hand side, it precedes their thinking by showing all your other five star reviews. Yep. That's massive because if someone gives a one, two, three or four star review, they're not thrilled with you. They're not that raving fan. Right. When, when, if and when, when that, that happens, happens 
three, let's call it a three-star three review. They're like, like eh, I don't hate them, but I don't, certainly don't love them. And they put in, yeah, they're fine, but I didn't like whatever. The smart review filtering brings up a message that goes, we are so sorry we couldn't have earned a five-star review. Can you tell us more? They then they can, can kind of have, vent or type in what they had the experience. It goes to the practice owner and then, and then it, it sends, sends a two-step two apology, apology campaign email that goes, thank you so much, so much for giving us your feedback. Here's what you said. said. Thank, thank you for letting us know. We're, we're going to work to, you know, whatever, whatever it says, says right? right? But, but most of the time when people are unhappy, they just want to be heard. And when they can vent and then get feedback two times in the next two days, Saying, thank, thank you, you, we heard you, here's what we're going to do. do. They're like, okay, cool. They're probably not going to now go, and now I'm going to find every online place and just rip them. No, probably not. Now, there's no guarantee because anyone can do anything at any time. But this is a really, really big piece is that review, smart review filtering. Um, and so I want to show you what that would look like. We, we touched on this stat here, but 87% of people that are referred to a business do what next? They go online. They look for a variety of things, reviews, they look for proof and all that, but this is a documented fact that people do go online. Um, this is what the whole system looks like, and I'm just going to give you the 30,000 foot overview and then dive in and show you some of these specifics. But right in the middle is your staff and your services. And if you, and you notice, notice right above that, that is five stars. Five stars. Hey, hey, great service. service. I highly recommend. So, so that's, that's what, what we want. want. But if, if you, you notice, notice on the upper left, left is what we just mentioned, the feedback page, page custom branded, branded online and accessible, and accessible on, on uh, uh, your phone. phone. So, so it's mobile optimized. optimized. On, the on the upper right, daily monitoring. So any of the places you're found in directories online, which by the way, you need to be in directories online that helps your local SEO. I don't do it, but Danny knows people that do. Get in and get your directories optimized. Um, but, um, but if you, if you, if you think, think about, about how can I get these reviews, reviews consistently, consistently, you've got to have a system that protects you with the review filtering, like I mentioned, and makes it easy for the patient. patient. If you just, just wave, wave at them on the way out and go, great uh, appointment today. Hey, give us a review. And they're like, I sure will. They don't. You hand them a flyer. Hey, give it. They won't. You've got to ask and then re-ask re while you're smiling, while you're being kind. You've got to just stay in front of them to get it. And I'm going to show you some examples in just a second of how this is done on autopilot. But if you notice on the left-hand side, monitoring the directory. So as soon as someone, what if someone just goes right to Better Business Bureau and puts a review on there? And, 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 just and just happens to do that on their own, own you're, you're going to get an email, email that says new review on. on. So you need to know so when, when activities, activities happening, happen, good or bad. On the, on the bottom, bottom left, left, we redirect, redirect to get reviews, reviews online. And, and this, this is important because sometimes, sometimes people think, think, oh, well, well once, once a patient gives this review, review then we can post it on all these places for them through, you know, ourselves or the software. Uh-uh. That's against terms of service. So, we, we redirect, redirect them, them to say, thank, thank you so, so much for what you said. said. Here's, Here's what you said, said specifically. Would you also put this online? online. And, then and then the patient clicks Google, clicks, clicks Facebook, Facebook, clicks Yelp, wherever, wherever that you're, you're sending them. them. Um, um, and by the way, a whole, whole different controversy on Yelp. Yelp. The, my opinion is, or just my opinion, focus on Google, focus on Google, mainly because it's the most powerful one for local SEO. But we ask them, the software asks them, hey, click here and leave your review. So in the email, they can go copy, click, paste, done, it. instructed, simple. If you notice on the bottom, we market reviews on the website. So how about now? Okay, every single review that comes in, let's get my web guy to crank up and open up our website and pay them for their time and make, no, this is an automated, it's called an API connection. And so every five-star review that comes in within minutes, boom, it's on your website and there it is, that's helpful. And then and we create, create a little, little graphic, graphic, if you notice there on the bottom right, right, you know, with, with your, your brand, brand, your picture, your logo. Your logo. And, and if you, you notice, notice um, and we're going to take a closer look at this in a second, second. HIPAA it's compliant, it's not the patient's first and last name, it's first name, first name last, last initial. initial. And that, and that goes, goes out through all your social media, media platforms, platforms that you have connected. connected. You can create, create a, video. a video. So, so this holistic system is, all of this is working for you, for you when, when all you are doing every, every month, month is going, is going hey, let, hey me let me look, look back, back at who were new patients, patients last month, month. export out of your um, software, import here, and, and boom, they're, they're getting, getting all of the requests to do all of this for you. So this is a really, really big, big piece is automated that I want you to realize. Here's the Here's example, example of Danny's, Danny's feedback page. page. So, so if, if someone, someone were, were to receive, receive the email, email, hey, thanks for being a great patient. We would appreciate your feedback. Can you click here and let us know how we're doing? 
They come, they come here, here, got some, some brand, brand color, color match. match. So, so, you know, you know we, we try, try to match the color, color to your, your website. website. Here's, Here's the, the team, team picture. picture. Now, now, you know, you know as, as most people, people you know, Danny, Danny might look at this and go, oh, oh we've got a new person or this swap. There's always time to swap out. We can update things like that. But notice how simple and easy this is. Full name, email. That's it. We don't care about your phone number. We don't need address. Just what's your name and email. Quick survey. How can we help improve our care? And would it be helpful to have an easy to use way to introduce us to friends? When, when that, that is answered, answered and tick yes, yes, and if you notice it's predefined as yes, yes. they've got to actually say, say no. no. But, but when, when that, that happens and that gets sent, sent over to your team, team and they, they notice that, that, now you're reaching out to go, thank you so much so for much that feedback. That. I noticed you, you said, said you would you like, like to have, have a way to introduce his friends. Here's our referral system. And Danny's referral system that he trains you on is exactly what you would send them, but this is a way to help trigger that. And then if you notice right under there, leave us a review, it pre-defaults to five star. So you've, you've got, got to actually, actually manually put, put one, two, three, four. And then, and then the, the screen just, screen just you know, just cuts, cuts off there at the please leave review, but that's where they would type it in. But notice, notice on the right hand side, side pulls in recent, recent and online, online five star, star reviews. reviews. So the people are typing this up, they're, they're kind of glancing at this, look at all these other people giving verbose or great five star reviews. That's huge. Now, this is the review filtering that I was mentioning. This is your custom branded feedback page. If they leave a, a uh, one, two, three, four star review, I mentioned what happens. Oh, we're so sorry, can you tell us more? And then they get the apology email campaign. But when most of them will leave the five star review, here's what happens. The page refreshes to this page. Thanks for giving us your feedback. The next step, click on a local directory and leave your review online. Well, even, you know, you can go Google, Facebook, yeah. Most of the time, you want Google and Facebook. And, and maybe, maybe sometimes, sometimes just, just Google, Google because, because the, the review graphic is going to go to your Facebook, Facebook anyway. But Google, Google and Facebook, Facebook wonderful. wonderful. Now, if you were, were the person typing, typing in the review and you've got to go click, click Google, Google and what did I say and how did I say it? Uh, but look on the left hand side. Here's your review. It, the system pulls in what they type. So all they have to do is click the yellow orange button, copy review, boom, it copies it. Now, now when they go, go to Google, Google it, opens it opens up. Now, now this is something really interesting. Have you ever tried finding a business on Google to leave a review? It's, it's not kind of like, like seeing those stickers in a, in a window for, you know, Dairy Queen. Yeah. Like it's on Facebook and you're like, what is it? Arvada Dairy Queen? Is it Arvada Deek? I don't know. Right. Yeah. The, the system programs your Google link to go right to your Google page, but even more so. The actual window to leave the five-star review pops up. So when they click that, it goes there, it goes into Google, they sign in, or if they're already signed in like most people, it then goes and this window pops up and they see Network Family Wellness or whatever your practice is, and it opens the box. So all they have to do is go, oh, paste, five-star, submit. Drop dead simple. Now, do you notice on the upper left-hand side, the video? Right. This is a ninja strategy that Danny and Rochelle did, the stock, the stock is, is a professional, professional um, uh, actor or actress actors, that just says, thank you so much for your five-star five review. We love, you know, earning that. that. Would you also do us a, you know, yeah, just a little quick little thing. thing. But the system, the system allows, allows you to do what they did, did which, which is record a quick 10, 10 15 second, second personal thank, thank you. you. And so, so here's, here's their YouTube, YouTube you, know, you know, thank you for, and I checked it last night. It's unlisted, so it's not even visible in their YouTube. But when they come to this page, this plays, and Danny and Rochelle are like, thank you so much. We love her five-star reviews thank you we love serving you and would you also put this online so wonderful way to personalize the ones that are giving five-star reviews here's an example of what happens after the five-star review which is now they get put into a three-step thank you campaign so here obviously we're blanking out name and and uh, emails but hey andrea thank you for being a patient we're having a little competition we want to get five more online so this is where they came to your feedback page and gave five star feedback and when the page refreshed and you said please give us a review online the dog barked the baby cried and they hit you know cancel and they went about their day and they didn't do that but now within an hour or two they get this email hey please help us get this online here's what you said so all they're gonna do is copy right from the email, simply click below, boom, Google, and it takes them right to your Google. So they will get three of these, like within an hour, and then two days later, and then three days later, or whatever frequency you like. You don't want it to be you know, once a week, they'll forget about it. You want it to be like, boom, 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 so they remember, remember, remember. 
Because the, the goal and the asset, like we talked about earlier, is getting the feedback, feedback online, online for reviews. So you so can, you have, can the have the double reviews, reviews than your closest, closest competitor. So, so this, this is, is a powerful way to have that automated follow-up. With the thought in mind of automated, let me mention to you, you know how I said 20 minutes a month and you export out your... Um, your patients, patients from the from previous, previous month and just month simply and just go to the, the platform and log in and go upload, upload send, them send them the campaign, campaign done. done. They, they get, get a three-step three request campaign, campaign which, which is basically, hey, thank you so much for being our patient. Would you give us your feedback? feedback? That kind of a thing. And they, and they click, click, go to your feedback, feedback page, page like we just looked at. Well, do you do the something the first time you get a request? Nope. So it sends an email. If they didn't do the review, they get another one. If they don't give the feedback, they get another one. And, and then, then guess, guess what, what happens? happens? What if but one of the ones, ones they clicked on, on, go to your feedback, feedback page, page where we just looked at, that, and they, they start, start filling it out, out but uh, dog barks, baby, baby cries, they, they didn't, didn't finish, finish it. it. The, the system, system knows they, they started, started it but didn't finish, finish it, and they get a two-step abandoned campaign, which is kind of like in merchants like Amazon. It's like, hey, Danny, you put this fishing rod in your cart, but you didn't buy it. Click here to buy it. And you're like, oh, yeah, 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 click. Right. Well, the system so goes, hey, Danny, Danny you started, started giving, giving us some, some feedback. feedback. Thank, Thank you so much. So Could you complete it? it? And you're, and you're like, like, oh, click and finish the review. review. Now, they, they, it didn't save, you know, the words, words they started typing. typing. So, so it just sends them right back to your feedback page. page. This, this is, is the power of automation. automation. Three requests to abandon so that they give you the feedback so that this five-star feedback email happens so that they then can go online. So, so powerful, powerful, and all you did was upload their, their name, name either as an Excel, Excel file or onesie twosie. You know, whatever, whatever in your practice, practice you might go. You know, you know, once, you know once they've had three sessions, sessions we're going to add them to something internal. We're going to send them something internal. internal. Oh, oh, the other task is let's like, just add this one person, person to the review platform. So let me log in, paste, paste, save. You can do onesie twosie. That's fine. Whatever your practice is set to do. Here's an example of what the um, activity looks like. And this is something from a few years ago, but I just wanted to show you something that the natural reaction is if you bug people and say, give me a review, give me a review, they're going to go, enough already, I'm mad. Uh -uh. Look at this here. This one person on July 6th got first request, then they got a second request, then they got a third request. And, and one of those requests, they clicked on the uh, feedback, uh, feedback and didn't leave the feedback. feedback. So then and on the, on the 15th, 15th, they were sent abandoned one, one and abandoned two. two. And, and then, then they left a review. review. Now, now, you would you think, think that they would go, go Danny's, Danny's awesome, awesome, whatever, whatever click. click. But look, look at what they said. This place has changed my life. They've helped me a line. They helped me better. People are busy. People Mean, mean to help, help you, you but they, they just, just are busy. busy. They're distracted. Life is very fast paced these days. Even yes. with the current situation of 2020, life is very fast paced and people are inundated with emails and texts and messages. And you have to remind them. And if you have to physically remember to do that or task a team member to do that, you're fighting a losing battle. That's why automation is so important with as yep. many things as you can in your office. A hundred percent. And just, I wanted to have the box checked off in your mind that you don't feel like you're bugging your patients. Right. I just don't want to ask, how about this? Danny, I know that you teach how to get referrals and people feel afraid to ask for a referral. I just don't want to bug people. No, you're doing a disservice to your patients and their contacts by not letting them know that you are the best thing since sliced bread. So ask for referrals confidently. In this scenario here, don't be afraid that they're going to get a request or two or three because when it does, and this is a perfect example, look at the rave re review that they gave. So this is just a, a great lesson. This is an example then of when someone gives a five-star review and let's just say that they still, after doing the um, video request, please go on Google, the three um, emails, please go on Google. Let's say that they still don't. All is not lost because their five-star five review goes, goes to your website, website. so that's good. Social, social proof on your website, you need to have that. And then and the system creates a quick little graphic with your either your logo or your picture in the lower left, the HIPAA the name, name at the top, top first name, last initial, your, your practice name at the top, call us today, become an access by patient, and it puts the review there. And where does that go? It goes out to your main sites, and these days, um, um, it's, it's mainly, mainly Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, because all of the other, other ones, ones are getting, getting so touchy, touchy with, with um, 
if you don't, don't do it, do it yourself, yourself personally, they, they don't, don't let anything connect. So like Instagram, Instagram and Foursquare. But the little, the little um, um, uh, you know, takeaway the there, there is, is let it go to Facebook and Twitter and and, and then and have your internal admin staff go, hey, when, when we, get we get that, that new, new you know graphic, graphic put out on Facebook, on Facebook make, make sure you save, save that graphic, graphic right click, click save as, as right? And then, and then also post it to our, our whatever else. else. So just, just maybe, maybe that, that little extra thing, thing would take an extra one, one minute, minute here and there, there but that's, that's one way to think about to expand that out. Now, now, here is a ninja, ninja strategy, strategy, and before, and before we, started we started talking about this, this Danny, Danny said, oh, you know what, I think I a really good thing I'm going to mention is this, and I said, I got you covered because I added this slide. He's one of the ones that does this well. So let me explain this, and, and okay. especially since um, many are familiar with this because they know me through Mile High, and they know me through Lifetime Wellness outside of my practice. So for Mile High and Lifetime Wellness, whenever we hold an event, I, we, we use a system for our office, but when we hold an event, I say, hey, you know, we really need to get feedback for how mile high was, and I want the positive and the negative. I mean, I truly do, and same thing for Lifetime Wellness, so we can hold a better event. So I say, can we send out, and Mike has us, we send it out for any event we hold, hold who attended, but, and we get such great feedback for LWP and for mile high through that. However, we didn't start doing that there, we start doing that in our office. This last month, we had six online reviews through this system that um, Mike has outlined, but we had four of those six because of classes. Whenever we hold a class or a workshop afterwards, these are people, they're, they're enough of a raving fan that they take time out of their schedule to come to an event that you held for your office. Those are the people that you want to ask more for more than anybody for an online review, especially right after they attended a class and they heard your heart and your value. So every time in our classes, one of the things we do is we, I always have a call to action. I say, hey, please leave us online feedback about this class, right? And I also give them a gift. We have a gift bag. We, you know, thank them. Like if you go to an event, like if you were a kid, you're going to a, a birthday party, you always got a party bag, right? Right. Uh, so at our office, whenever we do classes, we always have a gift bag. It's going to have like a water bottle and we'll have a gift certificate to give someone for an exam. It also has a, re a review request, like please leave an online review. However, our team takes all the attendees and puts them into this system and we get more reviews than the 24, 48 hours after a class than any time. We do, I mean, I would do the classes. I mean, obviously we want to educate our practice members, but just doing the classes to get the reviews is worth it because they, they give feedback. The class was great, but then on Google, they don't leave like just about the class. They talk about your care because now they know they have more of a why. So um, tell us how this part works. You know, it's exactly what you just said. And so what I want to bring to your attention is another aspect of this, which is anytime you're asking for a review for from a patient or a workshop, there's something else happening under the surface that is really important, which is um, like that principle of reciprocity and affirmation. So let's say a patient gives a review or right here, we're looking at this screen that says, who attended the workshop? They put their name, quick survey, did you enjoy it? What would you change? What topics would you like to see in the future? And then up underneath there is, you know, give us a review, right? Five star. As a patient or a workshop attendee is typing their feedback, and they are recounting the good experience and leaving good feedback. Guess what that's doing? Um, you know, my, my wife uh, uh, has a master's degree in music education, and she did her uh, master's thesis on the uh, cognitive effects of music on the brain. And I remember myelation. myelination. And Danny, you probably know this with nerves and, and brain synapses. When you reinforce and reinforce and reinforce, there's myelination and there's basically it's like a, um, the old school records, right? Is you're in this track. When your patients and workshop attendees are experiencing something good and telling you about it, it's reinforcing in their mind that you're good. So that gets them either as a workshop attendee, maybe it pre-frames them to come in and see the practice, or if they're already a patient, maybe it keeps them longer. So this is not only play to get reviews for Google. This is a retention tool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Huge piece. Right. And, and absolutely, because understand if people are take the time to write something positive, they want to be 
consistent and coherent with what they just told other people and what they wrote. They're not going to go against that unless you do something to undo the positive experience that they've had, right? So they want to be consistent with, I just raved about the experience at this chiropractic office, so I'm going to follow through the recommendations, show up, and I'm going to tell others um, what I just wrote online. Um, it, it, I mean, that's a deep, deep, deep psychological, um, you know, practice. And, and I'm, I know that there's an NLP term for that. But there's another thing that makes me think of future pacing. Right. Like if you're a, a real estate agent, hey, where would you put your um, uh, sofa in this? Li-? And they're like, oh, yeah, I'd put it over here. And you're future pacing. Well, in this sense, when you are having them give feedback for a positive workshop, attend, you're future pacing what it would be like to work with you as a patient and as a provider. So that's another really big piece. So this right here is workshop. And you asked a couple questions. Now, did you notice that there's not 19 questions? Have you guys ever um, started filling out a survey and you answer this page of this page and you look up at the top and you're like 19 questions in and it says you're 22% done and I'm like, I'm 100% done. I'm not, I don't have time for this. We don't want to ask a lot of questions. These three here are what Danny has chosen. They make the most sense. What did you enjoy? What would you change? And what topic would you like in the future? Because what if his team starts seeing people go, oh, I need to learn about, well, there's the topic for your next workshop. So really, really big piece here. So now we've talked about reviews and um, authority positioning. What if we combine these two strategies of reputation marketing and video marketing into one, which is creating a review branding commercial? If you notice from that big uh, 30,000 foot view uh, graphic that I talked through everything, one of the other options is having one of these reviews per month created into a review branding commercial. And And these these reviews reviews are really, really really powerful because they're they're unique to you. They're hosted hosted by a professional spokes model, model, male, female, different types of spokes models, models, shot in a Hollywood style studio, meaning this. this. Look in the the background of this image. image. It's It's Danny's um, uh, sign, building. building. And And maybe maybe there's another, we can do variations like, um, one, one video, video is the front of your office, office. and what, what if you go, well, I'm in a, you know, a, a office building, so, so great, here's um, a conference room, or here's like your waiting area. area. Um, uh, having that, that ability to customize and personalize it to you is huge. Using, using graphics, graphics, having your logo, having, having your phone, phone number. number. Um, um, and what, what I would say is this. Um, how much would you pay for a video like this? And I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't sell these as standalone. This is just part of one of the packages, which is, um, um, most, most people, people would say, say well, well, you know, if I'm, I'm a video producer, I'm going to say that these could be $3,000. No, no one's going to pay that. No one's going to pay 700 for this. this. But I would say that if you saw this one minute commercial and you saw that it was customized to a review, and I'm going to show you one in just a second for that we've done for Danny in the past, you'd easily feel like I pay 200 bucks for that. I mean, that's a, that's a common number because it's affordable, but let's take a look here at this. This is an example of one. If you notice, it is only one minute. Super excited about our latest review. We work very hard every week. We're really excited about our review. Now, we're switching. So it will come as no surprise. We love hearing from people that are happy satisfied. And this review is no exception, showing our dedication to superior service. This is also one of our favorite reviews. Very inspiring. Great reviews aside, we enjoy hearing from everyone, so we want to show you how our authentic experience and superior service is So thank you. So as you can see, um, they misspelled Rochelle's name, but that is authentic and transparent because that's what they put in their review, right? Right. So that was an actual review. And if you notice when it panned to the iPad, their hand was moving, there was moving in the background. It's a nice one minute quick hit. And that then goes to your social media. So that goes boom to Facebook. So now your Facebook um, uh, fan page is seeing a new piece of content. They see the the graphic that we looked at. They see the uh, video. And then here's an example of, um, I've done several of these for Dr. Simon. Um, You you guys, I think, know who this low-key individual is. Really boring, hard to really talk to uh, when you're talking to him. But here's uh, Dr. Simon. If someone Googled his name, here is 
video, 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 right? Now this is the video page just to be transparent, but here is how Google can index these because they we make sure that your name and your practice name is in the title and the description. So when you get that video um, each month for one of the good, good reviews, then you take that and you upload it to your YouTube channel because Google and YouTube are the same, and then it, uh, you wanna upload that to your, your social media. So really, really big piece there. Here's the bottom line. We've talked about why this is important to be seized the expert. We've talked about third-party social proof. Here's, if this sounds interesting to you, there's two packages, gold, platinum, look at the bottom set up to get all this set up where I've got to go through and set up all these things on your platform to get it connected and customized for you. So 295 set up, the two packages, 195 or 295. The difference is the video. So as you can see, I'm charged a hundred bucks for the video. So if you want the full package of everything I showed you and the video every month, it's only 295 a month. If you just say, yeah, you know what? I, I'll do my own videos. I just want the basic 195 a month. Extremely affordable, but guess what? I want, I want to give, to give this, this, this has been, been very popular when I've done these live presentations at events. Why don't I put my money where my mouth is? Why don't I let you have results in advance? And why don't I get the 295 waived done, give you 30 days free, and I will upload your first 50 patients so you can start seeing this happen for you. You've not paid me a dime. You see this happen, and 30 days later you go, wow, I can see how this would really work for my however many hundreds of patients and every month and all my events and all my workshops. Yeah, I want whichever package. So what I will say to you is, if this sounds interesting, contact Danny's office. He has the form that you will fill out. He will get it to you. You will get it back to him. He'll get it to me. And then you work with me personally. And I have a reputation of being extremely customer service focused. And I don't only give you this support. There are so many times that I've had my clients client say to me, oh my word, it's like having a personal coach. Yeah, you do this one service and one package, but you've taught me how this fits in my overall plan. So if this package looks attractive to you, I would love to give you the 30 day free with no setup so that you can see how it works for your practice. Yes. And I've got to say, just think about this. This, I was not fully aware that you were going to share this. This is a no brainer. So you know that you need reviews and I do use the word need intentionally. You need reviews for your office continuously. And so if you give 50 names, do you think you're gonna get a handful of reviews? If you don't think you're gonna get a handful of reviews, then don't do this, because that means that something else is going to miss in your practice. But if you think you're gonna be able to upload 50 names and get two reviews, five reviews, 10 reviews, this is, those reviews, I, I always say this to people, they're, they're more valuable or they're, they're, all, they're at least as valuable, maybe more valuable than a referral because a review is online and it stays there. It's a continuing repeating referral. It's going to refer people to your practice without you know being there. So like any review is going to be more referrals. So this is like you getting referrals for free um, from, 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 from online sources. And I, this is... Um, a no brainer to see if in 30 days, if from 50 names, you can have a few more reviews on Google and Facebook, that is extremely valuable. I mean, it's a gift. Uh, and today in 2020, we need as many gifts as we can to help us impact more lives with chiropractic. So um, thank you for making that available. And you You're can welcome. learn more about the program at localchirorep.com. Um, and we will put the form um, a link for this form so people can get the uh, complimentary um, uh, first uh, month and set up, as you said. So, um, Mike, what from this would you say is the keys for this that will help people achieve those four R's? Um, I would say there's really one key to this, what we talked about, but it also applies to anything else you're doing in your practice. And it's something that I see people make mistakes on over and over, not only in chiropractic, but every single industry, which is this. Um, have you ever heard that phrase, knowledge is power? That's not actually as true as it sounds, because the true power of having that knowledge is implementing it. So you have this knowledge now, it's been reinforced. Yeah, 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 I've heard reviews and all that. 
You have to implement this, and more than that, that doesn't just mean setting up the free trial or setting up the account after that. Hey, I've got great reviews. Yeah, let's keep on doing this every month, right? My advice and the key is do this every month. Every single time you do a workshop, upload the name. What's going to take you, five minutes? Every month, go back and have your previous month's patients. Add them to Have your admin do it, whoever you have, or even if it's you. So my advice and the key is do it consistently. This is a non-negotiable in your business. Now, there's some things that you can do if you get the time or not. This is something you must do as a non-negotiable. So if you, you know, I, I love the little quotes, don't be interested, be committed. Right, right. And, and I have to say, we did this this month for three um, classes that we held. Right. So, and then look, we have six online reviews. I'm not saying every time you do a class or workshop, you're going to get six online reviews. You're not going for that. Chiropractors tend to swing for the fences. They like want to do the event that gets a thousand new patients. Right. And there are stories about that. However, it's really the base hits that win the game. Getting yeah. the one review every week or each event or two or three here or there are what helps you win the game and playing consistently great baseball, right? You have to be consistent with being a great business owner with all the little pieces. That's what helps you win the game and realize it is not your business on the line. I mean, it is. However, that's not really what's the on. It's on the, what's on the line is the lives of the people in your community and them finding your office over other offices because you need you know you deliver outstanding care and so we want you um, to you know impact the lives in your community for the better so we can impact people's health and well-being um, and we have to always keep our why as the people that we serve and them being out having an outstanding extraordinary level of health and well-being right now more than ever so I've got to say um, Mike Saunders, thank you so much for sharing all this wisdom. Is there any last thing you would like to share? There's not. I think we covered it all. And if we kept on another topic, we'd go further and further. So I, I'll just leave it there. You ended it really well. Thank you for the opportunity. And I hope to help out some uh, people. Thank you. We will, we will have you back on for other, because we know you have other authority positioning uh, services. Um, and people, I'm sure, will learn from this a ton. Thank you so much for being part of our uh, audience and you know keep changing spines lives and minds with chiropractic check out the not lot the um, notes with this post that go along with this so you can learn more about having more people on more tables more often with more online reviews